everyone, I'm Carrie Doherty. And I'm Tim Cash. And today on the show... Chris Sullivan from This Is Us gets honest about Hollywood. It's all terribly not glamorous. We meet the cast and crew of Lena Waithe's The Shy. It's very therapeutic. And clear your calendar, because 2018 will be filled with great TV. Yes! yes! This is the IMDb Show. It's Thursday, January 11th. And it's time for your IMD Brief. There are a lot of great TV shows returning this year. <clears throat> the Handmaid's Tale. But there will also be plenty of new shows for us to obsess over. IMDb put out a top 10 list of what shows fans are anticipating the most, which you can check out at the link below. But in the meantime, I'm gonna highlight one of the shows on that list and two more that we here at the IMDb show are really excited about. Okay, so first up is Castle Rock, the psychological horror anthology series from J.J. Abrams and Stephen King that will air on Hulu and takes place in the fictional town that's appeared in Stephen King works like Cujo and The Dead Zone. You have no idea what's happening here, do you? I am a huge Stephen King fan, so I am super excited to see a brand new original story that takes place in the author's multiverse, which will no doubt provide us with lots of fun Easter eggs to look out for. You know, like that Shawshank Department of Correction sticker. I'm gonna scare the hell out of you. Another show I'm really looking forward to is The Shy, a coming-of-age Chicago-based drama created by Lena Waithe. My mother said I ain't supposed to cross this block. Why? How's she gonna know? Cause Jesus watching. Lena is no stranger to bringing her own personal stories to the screen. In addition to playing Denise on Master of None, she also co-wrote the season two episode Thanksgiving, which was my favorite episode of the whole series and chronicled her own experience of coming out. The episode won her an Emmy, making her the first African-American woman to win the award in the category of outstanding writing for a comedy series. But your voice is not unpleasant, Mr. Williams. Practice. And finally, Oscar-winning filmmaking duo Joel and Ethan Cohen will be making their TV debut later this year with an anthology series called The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, a western that will feature six different storylines and has already cast actors like James Franco, Zoe Kazan, and Tim Blake Nelson, who you might know from the Cohen Brothers 2000 film, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? They loved him up and turned him into a horny toad. The Ballad of Buster Scruggs may be a TV series, but since each episode will depict a different character and storyline, it's almost like we're getting six mini Coen Brothers movies for the price of one. That's awesome. And these guys are great at tackling the American frontier, which they did in 2007's No Country for Old Men and in 2010's True Grit. And vengeance is a big theme in both of these films, so hopefully we'll see it trickle into The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, which Netflix will be releasing later this year. You killed my father when he was trying to help you. What do Stranger Things, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, This Is Us, and a Geico commercial have in common? Answer, today's guest, Chris Sullivan. That's right, crushing it in the face of tragedy. Because that's how could Toby roll. Oh, could Toby, I like it. Welcome. Hey, thanks for having me. Listen, it's not an official IMDb credit, but you voiced an animal in a Geico commercial. Guess what day it is? That's correct, the Geico camel. Pump day! Just say the mic, 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 mic. Mike, 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 Mike. I am not your puppet. <laughs> Come on. I studied four years at Loyola Marymount University. I've studied at Oxford, thousands of hours on stage. The thing that the most people have seen me in is that Geico commercial. It's a good thing. I love it. Yes. Are you kidding me? Another congratulations, not just on the Geico commercial, but This Is Us thank and so all much. of its success. Thank you, thank you. I have no idea what that must be like for you. And I'm trying to be strong here because that's the gig, but it happened to me too. The writing on this show is straight out of the, the, the lives of our writer's room. You know, the first two weeks, there was no writing. They were sitting around and sharing their stories and letting each other know what is up for use. But they bared their souls to each other. And were you guys privy to that? Or this is yeah, just- Yeah, I mean, we did too. And so This Is Us is like this super story of 15 to 20 people yeah. who have offered their life to be filtered through these characters. You have to understand- Understand what? That you knew my father? That you kept him from me my entire life? There are so many great members of cast on so the many. show. Who's the one actor that you can never get tired of watching? Uh, it's mostly myself. You know, I like to go and watch the dailies of myself. I can't get enough of it. No, how could you? All right. Yeah, pound, all right. 
We don't get to see him as much these days, but Ron Cephas Jones, I could watch that man do just about anything. I'll have the girls here hugging you within hours. No, 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 no. I said goodbye when they were laying down. We're in season two. Mm -hmm. Fans want to know, what can we expect? We've gotten to know these characters. I think that there's a point of no return in relationships. Let's say you and I are dating. I wish. I know. <laughs> that, that there is a point where we know that an argument can be an argument and our relationship is not at stake. So what they're going to see, is, at least with Toby and Kate, is those really difficult struggles. Kate, let's not, let's not do this. Oh no! Let's, just... let's do this. I think we should do this. Let's just go big. But with the safety of knowing, this is a couple that, that is in it, uh, not to rhyme, but to win it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You can't just laugh at your own rhymes. Oh, me. Uh, it's showing the audience exactly how you can transcend painful experiences to find a stronger relationship on the other side of that. That is what you can expect to see in season two. So, back all up. Well, that is the greatest thing I have ever heard in my whole life. Here on the IMDb show, we love trivia. So we'd love a piece of trivia for the This Is Us trivia page. Got something? Oh yeah. We won favorite new show at last year's People's Choice Awards. I took it to the set and hit it in the background of three or four scenes in Randall's house. So you've watched the show back and it's there on the shelf yeah. put by you. Yeah, in several scenes. So happy hunting. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. In This Is Us, you wear a padded costume. Correct. But that's not your biggest transformation ever. For me, it's Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Taser Face. Which brings us into a game that we like to call Who's In There? As we play this game, can I get everyone in, in the room to join me? Who's in there? <laughs> Who's in there? So I'm gonna show you yeah. some famous actors that Great. have gone through amazing transformations, Great. and you are gonna try and tell me who they are. Here we go. Ray Fine. From which movie? Harry Potter. And the name of the character? He shall not be named. Good enough. There you go. Gary Oldman. Hannibal. Okay, this one. It's Glenn Close in Hook. Correct. She's apparently playing Charlton Heston. <laughs> okay. This is from Star Trek, you know, Idris Elba. Well done, Idris Elba, formerly known as Krull. Yes. This is X-Men. Yes. First name is Jennifer. <sighs> Why can't I remember her last name? Lawrence. Oh, that's Lawrence Fishburne? <laughs> oh, I see, I see what you were trying yeah. to hint at. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence, and she plays Mystique. My man, I well done. I just had done. to wait for that synapse to fire. How do you think you did? Probably the best anyone has ever done on this game. Well, seeing that no one's ever played this game before, you are number one, close to 100%, minus Lawrence Fishburne. Sorry, Lawrence. Well, Chris, your fans sent us some great questions via Twitter. We can't wait to hear your answers. But before we get to that, as Kerry said earlier, there's lots of buzz about Showtime's new series, The Shy, and we're gonna check in with our friend Drew Dorsey to find out more about it. Hey you guys, I'm here at the Red Carpet premiere for The Shy in downtown Los Angeles to talk to the creator, Lena Waithe, and the awesome cast. You sweet, I'm not sweet. Oh, so you a gangster? I guess so. In the show, you show multiple different perspectives and kind of how those different roles can interconnect. Absolutely. Why did you decide to tell the story that way? I told the story that way because there are very few shows with all black people that are multi-protagonists. It's important to do multi-protagonist shows with people of color because we're not all a monolith. She knows how to tell a story that, that has an authenticity and knows how to humanize people, which you really don't get to see. And these black people represent the everyday working people of Chicago, but also all over America. I'm going to try to find her. Well, you taking him with you? I ain't got no car seat, Ma. Then I suggest you sell some of these sneakers and buy one. I really want to show the middle class, working class kind of vibe and just get a sense of the humanity. But then also in the backdrop and in, in, in an environment where it's still violence. So I thought she was able to capture who we are as human beings. And she brought the levity and the joy and the, and the, and the pride we have. And I think what that does is it kind of gives you a well-rounded view of who we are as a people. If I do my thing here, then me and my girl Jerrica could open up a restaurant and then I don't gotta be in here prepping with your ass. <laughs> it's just a very family-oriented presentation of what's happening for real in the hood. You know what I mean? So it's, I think that's dope. In three words, how would you describe the shy? Amazing, amazing, amazing. 
All right, you guys, that's The Shy in the words of the creator and the cast. Make sure you watch The Shy. It will be airing with Showtime on Amazon channels. <sighs> Drew, I am so jealous that you got to go to that. I hope you had a good time. Now, Chris, we put out the word online, and I have some fan Twitter questions. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, You're it's a thing. Prepared? Okay. At Craig Orslin wants to know, do you cry as much as all of us fans do when you watch a new episode? Chances are not that I do not cry as much as you do, but I do, I do cry. The next Twitter question is from at Shara Lee, 33. Who has had the best onset prank? I'm generally the troublemaker. My favorite things to do are to either work the title of the show into the dialogue, which is very hard to do. I almost did it in season one where Kevin and I were riding in a taxi and every time we pulled up, I would just be like, actually right here is fine, this is us. <laughs> or uh, actually this is us right here. And they cut it out, surprise. Fun. Sounds like fun being on set. Uh, it is for me, probably not for the people around me, but I have, <laughs> I have a really good time as we've learned here today. So Chris, at the end of every episode, we like to go over what's on our watch list. You don't say. Since you were part of two very bingeable shows, This Is Us and Stranger Things, what are bingeable shows that you think people should have on their watch list? Uh, I'll tell you right now, we talked about this before, do not binge This Is Us. Because it's just too much of an emotional it's too roller coaster. Much. It's waging emotional warfare on yourself. Yeah. Now, shows that you can binge, mm -hmm. Safe, safe to binge, uh, The Crown. You don't think I would have preferred to grow up out of the spotlight? Very palatable as far as the drama. Mm -hmm. Let's not overcomplicate matters unnecessarily. The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Mm -hmm. Very bingeable. You must be the happiest woman on earth. I'm a man. That's great. And I will throw one out that, uh, that probably nobody's heard of, a TV show called Detectorists. When in doubt. <laughs> Dig it out. Detectorists. Toby Jones is a metal detector enthusiast. <laughs> I'm telling you. You're not I selling am, it, I am, but sure. Hey, that's what the show's about. Promise. Trust me. All right. Okay. Kerry, your watch list? Um, Any metal detectorists? I have the comeback on my list. I think Lisa Kudrow, to me, is, is a, a comic genius. Leela Durham. I think it's Lena Dunham. Well. I don't. It's very hard, I think, to get a character who's so likable and unlikable at the same time as Valerie cherishes. And also, there are almost 10 years between seasons one and two. Right. So it's really fun to just jump from one to the next. And it's just one of my favorite shows, so I'm saying the comeback. Okay. Tim? Stranger Things. Because I binged it uh, when it came out, and it was such a pleasure to lose yourself in. And it, every episode was so nicely strategized that you wanted to know what mm -hmm. happens in the very next one. And that's important for bingeability. Right. You guys, those are great picks. Thanks, Likewise. man. Likewise. And if you guys want to keep track of any of the bingeable shows that we've talked about in today's episode, you can add them to your IMDb watch list using the IMDb app. Click the plus sign or the add to watch list button on any title and boom, it's added to your watch list. Then, the next time you're not sure what to watch, it'll all be there waiting for you on your watch list. It's been a real pleasure having you here. Chris thank Sullivan, you so thank you so much. Don't forget to tune in to This Is Us Tuesday nights on NBC. And before we go, with so many trailers coming out, each week we want to help you guys stay on top of it all. So here are the best moments from this week's Trailer Drops. Do you believe in ghosts, Dr. Price? I do not believe in anything I cannot see. Truth. That's not how this works. Leave us alone! But we've just started. Ah! Who is this mean little monster? Relax, Liam. Relax! My name is Alex with three X's. Three X means poison, by the way. Uh, it's also a Vin Diesel movie. Fast and the Furious is completely unrealistic. It's not a documentary, I get that. You interrupted my meditation. Really? Does that help you stay calm? I guess not.